in its most basic definition, trust is confident expectation, which means having a strong belief in someone's integrity. And because we've been created to form bonds with other people, we have to go out on a limb and trust them, right? And more closely, we have parents, spouses, people we work with, right, that demand our trust. Otherwise, those relationships won't work. However, it's not uncommon for trust to be betrayed. <clears throat> and it's such a delicate thing because it takes a long time to earn someone's trust. And then in an instant, it can be all lost. And this is where things get a little bit touchy because because trust can be betrayed so quickly and we know that people are capable of <clears throat> abusing us, cheating, lying, you know, and not pulling their fair share. And over time, when this happens enough, we lose trust and confidence even in the people that are closest to us. And then it just gets harder and harder to trust people again because of all the things you've been through. And I, I believe trust issues are like up there when it comes to the things that people have to kind of heal from um, because our trust has been broken in so many different ways that it becomes easy to just wall yourself up in hopes of protecting yourself to never have to go through like that type of hurt again. But that's kind of not a way to live because um, we need to trust. Uh, and that involves a level of vulnerability, which then opens you up, right, to going through like some painful experiences again and i know from my own experiences that i've had to do a lot of work on this part because i wasn't really trusting i went through a lot of things in my family that always kind of made me keep them at an arm's length uh, because I didn't want to keep getting hurt. And then in personal relationships and friends, kind of, but I would say like with my family, that's where I think I got the most amount of trust issues from like that area of my life. So over time, we lose trust in people but that should never be the case with God. And when we don't trust in him, that's because there's something within us. It's not because God is bad and that he did something to us like people, right? Because people have the ability to betray your trust, whether accidentally or intentionally. But God is always good, right? So... Once we do that healing, then we can begin to see that God is not out to get us. And people have the ability to be our enemies. However, if we're battling with God, it's from our own choosing. And I know that once I got into a right relationship with the Lord, all of the trust issues that I had in the past, 
even if I couldn't necessarily correct what happened, at the very least, I forgave and I freed myself from that prison. So, for instance, with my family, I can't go back in time, right, to fix things. But at least now, going forward, I can kind of reflect on the lessons I've learned despite the broken trust and gain like good experience from what happened and I had to also forgive them and myself and in the grand scheme of things I now see because I can get the full picture that God was always working through all of that dysfunction and now that I have this understanding of like what happened then going through like future betrayals it's I'm not going to I'm not saying that I'm not going to get hurt from like if I open myself up to trusting someone again because you're always going to run the risk of that but at least now that like I have trust in God that um, he's working through all that craziness that I will have like learned my lessons quicker and not be so caught up in like oh why is this happening to me um, I don't deserve this I won't I won't be able to like trust again like I, I'm praying that I can more quickly recover should something happen again where like I feel betrayed by someone I love and in order to draw closer to God we need to continually reflect on his goodness and in order to develop like a a daily trust like right uh, in the way that like we regard God right daily continually we have to be thinking and meditating upon the things he's done for us right in our lives um, so that we can become more rooted in trusting him and something that I believe we struggle with in our relationship to the Lord is that our prayers won't always be answered the way we want and trouble will come but we must still trust even with all these things like you already know ahead of time that you may reach out and hope for a prayer to be answered whether it's healing um, or some kind of breakthrough and if it doesn't turn out the way that you hope or that you feel like God's like not listening or giving you something completely different and like contrary to what you're asking for um, not to lose trust because it's so easy for us to do that and there will be tough times like for sure and we can't abandon the Lord when things happen that are you know um, not something that we would have wanted but we still have to deal with it and my whole point of this, this is that we need to run to God more than people, right? Because people will disappoint us. They'll lie. They'll give bad advice. Um, and we run the risks of these things happening when we put all of our faith and trust in humanity. And I'm just going to quickly read a couple of verses here in um, Numbers. Uh, the book of Numbers, chapter 23, verse 19, says, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? God is not a liar. 
like the way people can be. And in the book of Psalms, chapter 118, starting at verse 4, Let them now that fear the Lord say that his mercy endureth forever. I called upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. So yes, we, we're going to have to place our trust on some people because we need to. That's just an inevitable part of life. But for you to put all your eggs in that basket and run to people for counsel and uh, for, you know, just to fulfill your needs, right, wh whatever they may be, is the wrong move. We should be putting all of our confidence in the Lord and just making him like, the top of who we need to like run to in times of trouble because he's got a sovereign dominion over everything anyway right and i know that in my darkest times when i was truly like alone let's just say in bed and going through something and just no one's around me, not my daughter, my father, any friends, nobody. And I'm wrestling with something or my heart is broken, right? Only the Lord's there to comfort me. That's it, right? And even looking back before I actually gave my life to him, started living for him, there were so many times when I was completely by myself, no one around. And yet he sustained me through it all. And I knew that like I wasn't alone. And now as I get older, because I've been through more things, I'm learning to be more trusting of him. And because I spend time with him regularly and I reflect on his goodness and how he's like seen me through all these different phases of my life that I, I just go to him for everything now. And I still have like friends and family that I, you know, ask for advice from time to time or their thoughts on something. But I know ultimately, like, God is at the top of everything. And, you know, I need to go to him uh, for, in prayer and just build that intimacy. Because unfortunately, people will you know, they, they will um, disappoint us. I've done it to others, not on purpose, but it's again, like only God can truly like be all that we need. So until next time, God bless and amen.